Republican candidate for governor Brian Kemp and David Perdue face off in the second of three debates. The debate was held by WTOC in Savannah and the two went after each other on some big topics. Good as Lindsay Tooman is at the Fox 5 live desk with a recap. Good morning, Lindsay. Good morning to you both. The two went back and forth for much of the debate talking about the 2020 election. Also crime in the state and who can win against Stacey Abrams. In the second debate for Brian Kemp and David Perdue, neither candidate held back. The two went back and forth over election security. Perdue said Kemp did not do enough to investigate alleged voter fraud in the 2020 election. Kemp responded the FBI, the GBI, and his own office investigated claims. We've always had voter fraud in our elections. It's totally unacceptable, Governor, and you won't own up to it. Lord of mercy, there's a lot of spaghetti being thrown on the wall. Again, you're completely false. Another issue the candidates sparred over, crime in the state and public safety. Crime is out of control. Murders, rapes are up 40% in Atlanta. Murder capital of the world right now is Atlanta, Georgia. Well, David, perhaps you should come to Forsyth, Georgia tomorrow at the trooper graduation. When that class graduates, We'll be back up to the numbers when I took office in 2019. The point they each tried to drive home, who can win in November? I'll just tell you this, I'm in here to protect my state. This man has sold us out to the radical left. My point is, if we're going to beat Stacey Abrams, we got to have somebody that's going to focus on today and focus on how we win in November, not try to look back like David Perdue and Stacey Abrams have been and not admit that they lost the election. The third and final debate between Purdue and Kemp will be Sunday at 7 o'clock at the Atlanta Press Club. South Georgia educator Candace Taylor will also take part. Early voting starts on Monday for the May primary. That's the latest from the Fox 5 Live Desk. I'm Lindsay Tuman for Good Day Atlanta. Lindsay, thank you.